So for today, we're going to be looking at the new ornaments that the Warlocks got for Season of the Plunder. Let me know what you guys think about the ornaments in the comments below. If you guys haven't seen the Hunter and the Titan ones, I'll have them right now. You guys definitely check them out. They're really cool. We go through how they look, how they shader, and I even give you example sets. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. Uh, but you guys have been doing a great job with liking, commenting, all of that. Keep up the great work and I will be making more content for y'all. So again, if you guys are interested in a certain video or topic, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get started on it. Let's just get into the ornaments. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Controverse Hold Ornament. It finally got an ornament and Jesus Christ, this looks amazing. Ha like hands down, probably one of the coolest ornaments that the Warlocks have by far because it's literal hands on your hand, bro. Your 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 hand literally has a hand get like cl like clasping. Bro, this this is so cool. So if you guys don't know, I did make a video for this ornament which is the crucible shader i'll have the video up right now we make a really cool set and i'm just going to be pulling from that video because it lo still looks amazing and honestly why not like, let's just get into it so before we get actually get started let's actually look at the shader situation because i think it's pretty cool so for echoed anger you can see the red and the white glow underneath but you also see the fact that a lot of the hands actually have a lot of discoloration between like the knuckles and the fingers and everything which is pretty cool i actually think it looks pretty cool but for bissany and gold there actually is no discoloration it's all just one big fat color and you can see the underglow of like the red which is super super cool for sato tribe i do think it looks a little boring it's just pure white with a white glow underneath. I think this, the Sato tribe shader should have had the same discoloration for the Echoed Anger, but instead it should have been like a blue discoloration. So that way you can see a lot more blue in there. But overall, it doesn't look bad. It actually shaders pretty decent, thank God. As for the example set, I still love this look. I, I still think it looks amazing. So for the helmet, we're using Mouth of Ur. It's from the King's Fall Raid. If you guys haven't done it, it's amazing. I've also already reviewed the armor. So if you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. For the chest piece, we're using the Corrupting Echo Robes. This is pretty interesting because you can switch the Corrupting Echo Robes with the Worm God suit, uh, which is the King's Fall armor. You can actually switch the chest piece and the helmet uh, for the other ones. So for example, you could use the Corrupting Echo Helmet with the vest of something, I don't remember, the King's Fall one. And I think that would still look amazing. For the boots, we're using this fetish boots because I like the fact that in the knees, you can see like this organic web. And I didn't wanna have anything hive related on the boots because the other hive stuff related is not shaderable, specifically like the bone doesn't change color. So. I just went with a kind of like an underweb type thing. And for the bond, we're going for a psychoceratops bond because of the spikes. Overall, I don't have much to say about this one because I did make a video about this one again. I'll have it in the description if you guys want to see it, but it's definitely one of my more favorite looks. And if I did decide to buy this ornament, I would definitely pair it like this because it just looks amazing. Because when you look at it as a whole, it really does look like you're just being your arms are just being grabbed by just a bunch of hands, which is super cool. For the last ornament, it's gonna be for the Geomag Stabilizers, which I'm, on one hand, I do think it's pretty cool, but I do think the first ornament that it got is just way better. Uh, I do like that there's electricity going through it, but I just think it kinda, I shouldn't say it looks boring, cause it doesn't look boring visually. It looks very busy and it looks cool. It's just that, I don't know. It's so hard to explain. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let's look at how it shaders and then maybe I'll give you my thoughts on it because I'm still kind of thinking about it. Uh, it actually shaders really well. I love the fact that the coils on the knee and on the side of the feet or not feet, uh, calves. I love that that's the blue steel because that's kind of what I want to see. For Abyssinian Gold, I'm gonna be real with you guys the brown on the armor doesn't really jive with me at this point i think i'm just gonna switch out abyssinian gold with another shader probably a black one another one because abyssinian gold's like plate armor color just never jives with me like i've never liked it 
For Sato Tribe, it actually looks pretty cool as well. Again, I like the fact that the coils on the knee and on the side of the calves is blue. I definitely like that. But overall, I don't know. We'll see. For the example set, I ended up going with my the Legacy Oath robes for the for the chest piece because I think that's probably one of the more better ones out there. For the arms, using the painted Kitsune gloves because I think the electricity going through the hands mimics it mimics the boots really well for the chest piece ugh, for the for the helmet we're using the facade of the heads and lords because i didn't want to use like the other helmets that i usually use for a, a, an electrical look so i decided to use the facade of the heads and lords even though like it doesn't kind of make sense but i still think it looks cool as fuck and then for the bond we're using the thorium halt bond which is probably one of my more favorite pieces to use when i'm using like an electrical set so warlocks let me know what you guys think i definitely think the controverse hold has the best ornament for the warlocks because the alternate conduction which is what this one is called the the uh geomag stabilizers uh new ornament it just kind of looks uh meh like i again it doesn't look boring or anything it's just that i think compared with the first geomag stabilizers uh ornament it just the first one's just so much better because there's just so much happening with the boots and with this one it just looks a little bit more simplistic i guess you i would say not saying it doesn't i'm again i'm not saying it looks bad i actually do like how it looks but when you compare it with the first ornament it's just pales i guess you would say so warlocks i would love to hear your thoughts about the new ornaments in the comments below if you guys want to follow me again all of the stuff is in the description below thank you guys for all the support you guys have been showing me and i'll see you guys later